Please, can you introduce yourself? I'm Latif, the CEO of STD Farms, and many of you know me by STD. They usually call me STD. Please, why, why STD? STD means support the dream. We have a big dream that we want people to support the dream. The dream is very tremendously, so we want people to support it. it means support the dream, so we want people to support us in whatever we're doing. So if you are there watching us, please, you can support it. It's support the dream. Okay. So you are talking about dream. So what do we need to support? We want to take farming in Africa to a different level. I have per se studied a lot of farming outside and the way people are doing farming outside is different from the way we are doing the traditional farming here. In Ghana, when we say farmer, what comes into your mind? The main perception or the main objective we think is a man who goes to the bush, sweats, smelling, and that's not a farmer. So a farmer is somebody who who attract wealth and assets. That's what we see a farmer outside. But here in Ghana, when we say a farmer, we see it to be for the poor people. Okay, you say you learn from outside. Can you mention the, the nation? Ah, uh, I've lived abroad over 10 years. I've lived in Spain. I've, I've lived in Spain. I've worked, I've studied over there for about Mm, over 10 years. So I've lived in abroad over 10 years and I've studied a lot about animal science as well. Okay, so you are animal sciences? Not per se. I've studied, if I say I've studied, I've studied about food and nutrition, but through my journey, I have a friend who who works in different farms over there. So during my weekends, if I don't go to work, I go d there to ask them questions about farming in which they help me a lot to learn about the farming and animal science. So I, I would say I, I've learned about animal science, but not, not with certificate, but through experience and with people. Okay. So what motivated you to start your farm? Okay. As I said, I've worked, I've, I've studied about food and nutrition, and I've been working in one of the biggest restaurants in Spain. I've I was one of the chefs over there and it got to a time I was doing the ordering, buying things from there. So it got to a time I said, no, I have to open my own restaurant in Ghana. Whenever I go back home, I have to open my own, own restaurant in Ghana. So as I was ordering things, I, I see that the prices of things are about 90% of the sales we make. We, we earn a lot of money. But the raw materials is what takes the money out. So I decided, no, if I have a dream of getting a restaurant in Ghana, why won't I start farming so that I can supply my own restaurant with the raw materials, the, the meat and from a specified and good place that I know of. So that's why I started farming. That's the main objective that I started farming. I started farming in the future to, to produce for my restaurant. That's why I started farming. Okay, so if you are, I, I may ask, which, which farm do you start first? I actually, I wanted to start with poultry farming because when I was there, every food or every meal that we, we do over there, you have to add egg. So that's the main thing that I said, no, let me start poultry farming because poultry farming, I'll use the egg to do dessert. I'll use it. Normally, I wanted to do intercontinental dishes and they use a lot of eggs. So I came to Ghana, I purchased the land. I said, I want to start poultry farm. So I started building the pen. So it was time for me to go back. I said, no, I can't leave the land bare like that. Let me look for it somebody to work over there whilst I leave some goods. So I started with goats, sheep, and I went because I wasn't here, so I can't start with the poultry over here. Poultry needs your attention. So I started with goats and sheep, and later I added cattle and, you know, so forth. I added a lot of things. Okay. So let's, let's chip in for a more into goats. Mm -hmm. So starting, I mean, goats do you start with? I started with four goats at, at a go. I started with four goats, one male and three 
females. Then later I added in about 10. Then it got to a time I added, I, I had about 40 goats because I bought some goats. I had about 40 goats. And they were here and they started giving birth. I lacked experience, so I lost a lot of them. I lost the kids. Some of them had miscarriages and, you know, about nutrition. I wasn't very good, although I've been asking questions. And But if you are not on the field, you will fail. You have to be on the field to fail for you to learn through your failure. So through that, I was losing some of the animals. I was learning from it. I was losing some of the animals. So it got to a time. I did it for about a year. My, my number wasn't going up. It wasn't coming down. So just because the goats are giving birth, but some of them <laughs> would die. So it would be like I'm working, but I'm not gay. I'm not gaining. That's what it takes you to to learn. Sometimes you have to pay the price. So I, uh, through that, I learned a lot and I started increasing on my numbers. I started increasing on my numbers. It got to a time I had about 70 goats, 80 goats. I sold part of them to start cattle farming. Then the cattle farming was going onward. Then I sold some of the goats. I've been removing some of the money to to do other businesses as well. So now I don't keep much goods. Now I don't keep much goods. At first, I used to have a lot of goods, but for now I don't keep much goods because if they accumulate and I gather them about to a certain number, I have to sell them and put the money into something different because I want to do mixed farming. That's what I'm doing here. I'm doing mixed farming. I will hear... The mixed family, we are into duck farming, we are into goat farming, we are into sheep farming, we are into fish farming, we are into poultry farming, and we are into cattle farming. So maybe as time goes on, we will still be using the profits and the gains that we get from this mixed family and be widening, opening more, such as snail farming and other things, and crop farming. We have planned on doing crop farming as well. Okay. The, it says it starts with four. Yes. So what what breed do you start with? I started with the local breed. I started with the local breed and I had the West African long legged goat. That's the Sahelian goat. The West the West African short leg. That's the our normal local goat. So I started with three local goats. That's the West African long legged short legged goats. They are our local and one big male. Mm -hmm. So when the male crosses them it will give you a crossbreed, not that tall, not that short. So, it will be in in, in the medium. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you, I, I think you said, you said that your challenge that you proud to, but can you talk about the challenge that you start with the goat farming? As for the challenges, if you want to start goat farming, just make sure that your first year, second year will be a lot of challenges because if, you don't have idea if you don't have the knowledge and experience you have a lot of mortalities true these mortalities is where you will learn because we have diseases we have a lot of diseases and in the dry season it's normally cool just in this dry season it's normal cool but during the rainy season we have a lot of ticks animal lice we have worms everything this what causes food rot sulfur a lot of diseases to the goal so in the dry, in the rainy season, as a new farmer, you have a lot of challenges. You have a lot of challenges. So I will encourage you, if you want to start your goat farming, please start during the dry season and start getting to know more about the goats. Whereby in the rainy season, you you, you have adapted to to the goats' behavior and you can you know control them and the diseases as well. So, like, for your channel, it's, it's very good but to use one year to gather more information to your future. So, yes, see, if somebody wants to start, uh, I mean, Do I need uh, the person need to start. Okay. As for a beginner, what I will tell you is to start small. Start small, even if it's two, three, but start small. Don't start big and because you face the challenges, you no matter what, you face it. 
sometimes you may think that, oh, I've learned, I've learned. STD Farms is telling us this and that. This, this farmer is telling us this and that. But start small. I know what I'm telling my viewers and your viewers and the people watching us. Please start small so that you will learn through your process. Enjoy the process. The process is very long. You enjoy it through the process. You enjoy more about it and you learn more. Please don't start big. Don't start big. Start small and learn from it. So what's, what build that it, it can give the person to start with? Okay. It depends. If, as a starter, are we talking about a professional farmer or a, or a, or a starter? Or a starter? Uh, both a professional. Or... Or a professional. A professional farmer can handle whatever. But a, a starter, a beginner needs to start with a local sheep because they are very, they are less expensive. They are cheap as well. With your 400, 500, 600, you can get a goat and start. But with the exotic breeds, you need a lot of money. So if you don't have experience, I will not advise you to start with a goat whereby it will cost you a lot and maybe experience will eat you up and be losing such investment. I will not advise that. So as a beginner, please start with the local goats. Know more about the goats' behavior. Know more about their lifestyles. And when you are done and you see that now I'm fit, to go in for more than you can buy the exotic breeds like the Boa, Kalahari, Savannah, and the West Africa long leg. That's the Sahelian breed as well. Okay, so let's check. Let's see the housing. What what's housing that is good for goats? Okay, in goat farming, we have two types of housing. We have the raised pen and we have the floor one. Just as we are in right now, this one is the bare floor. So you can use whatever is very good. What the two of them are good, but if you are using the floor ground, you need to be sweeping it every blessed day. Every blessed day, you need to sweep it and you know make the place very tidy so that when they urinate and defecate, the they it will not attract diseases that may cause harm to them. But for the raised pen, when you build a raised pen for them, when they urinate and defecate, it will calm down and you get a chance to clean. Even if you don't clean in their pen for two days, you are good to go. But for the ground pen, you will need to be cleaning it every day. Goat, and if you are using the ground pen too, you need to be using something so that the goats will be climbing on it because goats, they want to be on high, high position. So you just need to put something there so that they will be climbing on it. But for the pen, both the ground pen and the raised pen are all good for goat farming. Okay, let's check. For, so if somebody wants to do goat, the person needs to rent land or need to buy the land. Okay. If you want to do for commercial purposes, you, you need a land, no matter what, because you cannot start goat farming in the air. You need land. If you want to learn, if you want to learn, starting with two goats or one goat, three goats, you can use your backyard. It's not important for you to buy a land. For learning process, your backyard, you can use your backyard to buy two or three goats. But if you want to, use or if you want to do it for commercial purposes then you need to buy a land so that you will do it in your land and maybe plant some grasses for them because goat farming is all about the genetics the genetics the breeds the type of goat one second the nutrition the food you need to give it to them the food has to be very very good in protein quality and the goats will be good. The third is the management. The third is management. How you, you control your farm, how you relate to your workers, how you organize everything in the morning, how you make sure that everything is being clean, everything in their food 
is being served, their time of going out, their time of coming in, if you are using the intensive system, if you are using the semi-intensive system, if you are using the excess, extensive system, you all, it all depends on the management. So in goat farming, what you need is the genetics, that's the breed, the type of animal. As we said, we have the local goats, we have the exotic goat, and secondly, the nutrition, the feed, the feed. We have grasses like the brachira grasses, we have alfalfa, we have lab lab, we have napia, we have a lot of grasses and the management, how you control your farm. So these are the three, the three keys in good farming. Management, nutrition and genetics. Okay, so yes, let's see the food. You are saying if a um, food, we are safe, alfalfa and so if the beginner want to start, the person need to plant all this thing or it depends on the number of animals you want to start if you want to start with a big number or for commercial purposes on a big land then you need to plant your feed first before even introducing the animals to to your farm but if it's just too or you can just be giving them with the surplus of food that you have at home some cassava pills just to learn. But if you are doing it big, big time, then you have to get your feed. No matter what, you have to get your feed. And uh, alfalfa, as we said, alfalfa is one of the best feed, and one of the feed that pro provide high protein context for for your goods. It, alfalfa is one of the best feed alive and around. Okay, so you see, alfalfa is the best. So the person needs to plant it before bringing the animal in. Yeah, inside. yeah, yeah. Because if you bring the animal in the real food, what will you do? They will go out, go and destroy people's farm, and it will cause troubles, commotion, and everything to your neighbors. So if you want to start good farming, please, if you have your land, first, first process of starting a good farm, at first, I said the three keys, that's the nutrition, genetics, and uh, management. But process of starting good farming, the first process is acquiring the land. If you acquire the land, the next process is clearing the land. After clearing the land, the third process is, is getting the right feed on your farm. Introducing the animals is about the seventh, eighth process. So the first process is acquiring the land. I have land now. What do I need to do? I need to clear the land. Then I clear the land. Second process. Then third process. I start planting this feed for them. Then the fourth, the fourth process is me building the pen. Then the fifth process is getting my source of water. Seas is looking for the goods uh -huh, or looking for workers because you can't bring goods without workers. Uh, okay, yeah. so do you have land for good, goods? Do you have a particular land that this land is for goods? Uh, I would say some lands are, are fertile and some lands are not fertile. A land which is not fertile, it's not that it's not good for goods, but it will not be good for you because when you plant grass, they will not do well. But for goats, they can live on any grounds. But maybe you will be thinking about your feed, their source of feed. So maybe when you plant it, the land will not be good for the goats. Uh -huh. But for goats, they, they don't have any problem with the land. Okay, so for beginner, what land, what size of the land is good for? Oh, you can start with just one plot. Just one plot. For commercial? For commercial, for commercial purpose about five acres and above five acres so five acres that's about 20 plots of land because an acre is four plots so five acres so the five acres how many acres that the person to you to plant the food ah uh, the person can use about three acres four acres to to plant grass and the person can start working on just one acre one acre is even big on just two plots of land the person can start working building the structures on one plot of land where the workers will sleep on another plot of land, just two plots of land and the rest 
four and a half acre that the person can use to plant grass because in the dry season, there you see that what you planted will help you. But in the rainy season, even though there is a lot of rains, you get grass, the goods will be good. But in the dry season, if you don't have food storage, or uh, it will affect you. You need to store food. So one, one acre of land can contain how many animals? How many goods? No. For them to live in or for them to graze? For them to do everything around. Ah, uh, for goats, if one acre of land, at, at, at least here is just half plot. Okay. Where we're standing is just half plot. Half plot, you can put here, you can put about 400, 500 goats here. Wow. But where they will go and eat. So it, just one plot, you can put the animals, but where they will go and eat is the problem. So maybe if I tell you that one acre can take about 20, 30, no. The animals, if you beat the pen, they can go inside, but their grazing place is the problem. So at least about 20 animals, you need about 20 goats, you need to get about one acre or two acres. Mm. So let's say 10, 10, 10 goats per an acre. So let's check about the, the growth of the animal. What age the goat matured? Goat matured in terms of selling or in terms of giving birth. Like mature of giving birth and fine for ready for eating. Ah, uh, okay. For from seven eight months is good, but for selling, eh, for for reproducing to conceive pregnancy, our local goods about a year plus. But the hybrids, eight months, ten months, they can conceive pregnancy. But our our local goods more than a year. Because okay. they are very small, they are tiny, so they need to grow. Before. So if I, a, a goat in the year, how many times it give birth? The goat, a goat give birth twice a year. And if goat is pregnant, it's 150 to 152 days. It's just what, about five months. So in a year, the goat will give birth two times a year. And its first time, it will give birth to one. But the next time, it will... It will start giving birth to two, 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 and it will go to three. But the first time it will give birth to one. Okay. By a year, it will give birth two times. Okay. Did that attack them? We have the PPR. So the PPR is a very, very dangerous and killer disease. It's really affected me here in this farm about two years ago. I had problems with the PPR because my goats were fine, and as I was growing, I knew that we don't vaccinate goats, so uh, I see it to be normal. But later, I bought the goats and I traveled outside, so I wasn't around. Then I started seeing a lot of mortalities, diseases, outbreak in my farm. This caused nightmares to me. It, co it really caused nightmares to me. So a year, you need to vaccinate PPR. PPR is a very deadly disease in goat farming. So, but the medicine or the vaccine, you will have to, you have to ask a vet to give it to you because you will not get it anyhow. It's just from vets, the okay. PPR. Okay. So only the, the PPR that no, no. fed them? Normally, in rainy season, we have food rot, we have sulfur, we have a lot of disease, but we have worms, we have a lot. But that one are minor, minor diseases, and that one are minor. But I was telling you about the major diseases that can damage your farm. That's the PPR. Okay. So in a, in a day, how many times they, they, they eat? Oh, goats, for goats, we don't look at how many times they eat. We give them food. If the food is short, we, we give them food. Or sometimes we let them go out to, to graze on, their, on our land. And if they are into, we give them food. 
if you say how many times you, you may put yourself on a schedule that maybe it will be affecting the goat. So the goat will eat uh, just be eating. Okay, yeah, let's see the your daily activity of the goat. Mm -hmm. My daily activity when I wake up when I wake up the first thing in the goat family, right? Yeah. Uh, in the goat family, when I wake up, I I cross check if there is anything wrong with the goats. If they are good, I give them some food for them to eat around 10 to 11. I open them to go and graze around our land. That's where the sun starts shining. So all the worms will, will be off the grass. So when they take in the grass, it will not cause in or they will not take in worms and other diseases. So we open them around 10, 11 that way. Okay, so let's see somebody is a new in the dry city. I, I, I hear that like the normal said like dry city, go say normal side they are good because they're able to feed them. So what as a beginner, what advice will you give the person on that? If you want to start, that's what I said. You need to look on your feet. If you don't have feed, that's where where you sell your animals. But if you have feed, if you have feed, you not sell your animal at cheap price. So if you want to start goat farming, just consider your land where you plant your grass. If you start goat farming, be planting your grass so that you'll be storing them. Whenever we enter into the dry season, you have some to feed your goats and you know be stranded and selling your animals for cheap prices. Okay, we are saying about storing. So yes, yes, use for example of alfalfa, person to install alfalfa. At, okay, first, if you plant the alfalfa and they are ready to cut them, cut them, dry, dry the alfalfa and build them. You can build them into hay. You can build them or maybe you can use the machine there. After drying it, you can use the chaff cutter machine and cut it into small pieces, into small pieces. After cutting it, then you put them into sack and store them. Or you can use it to make silage, whereby you mix molasses and you cover it with a black polythene uh, and you leave it. So the person is watching, it's not understand about A. What mean of A? Hey, hey, is the dry grasses. If you have a grass like, and you dry it like this one, if you dry a grass till it comes, this, this is a hay. Okay. Dry grasses is called hay. hay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how, how can you the person to dry it? Uh, if you cut it, you, let, you leave it on the land for two to three days. But every day you need to be on the land to be. Turning is you use your rig to turn it uh, so that you leave it for about two to three days. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. When when we say is it capital intensive, it means that do we need to put more money in good farming? You need to invest. Capital intensive, you need to put more money. You need to put more money because the structures it it requires money. The structures it requires money. The good. It requires money. They are feeding. It requires money. Source of water. It requires money. Source of electricity. It requires money. So it is very, very capital intensive. It is very capital intensive. Is it how easy to compare with other farming? The good farming. Yeah. Every farming is unique on its own. If I, I would say I'm doing good farming. I'm doing cattle farming. I'm doing poultry farming. I'm doing fish farming. But Every farming is unique on its own. Maybe where you need goat farming most, the cattle farming will come and help you in your life. Or where you need money. And you are thinking, oh, I'm, I, I need money at this point. Goat farming will help you. Or where you need money, you see that goat farming is not helping you. But the fish farming is the one which will help which will help you. So every every family has its own way. It's very unique. Some people will say good family is the best for them. Fine. Some people will say cattle family is the best for them. But I will say every family is unique on its own. 
every family has its way uh -huh. it will help you so i will not say goat farming is different or is the best out of no everyone is unique it's very very possible if you have a chicken coop or pen you can use it for for your goat farming it's very very possible as i was saying the how successful and quick with the local breeds it takes time like a year before you get outcome but the local hey, the exotic or the foreign breed it takes not much time okay. it, it doesn't take a lot yeah, profitable it's very lucrative and profitable good farming is very 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 imagine you having two thousand ghana city you go and buy one goods in a year the goods will give birth four four times or oh, two times and each time if it gives birth one 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 hey, two 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 is four one good your thousand giving you four babies. If they are grown, you can sell them thousand, 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 thousand. How much? Four thousand. So your one thousand in a year can multiply you four thousand. Whereby if you put that thousand in your bank, that that money will not multiply. So wow. Uh -huh, so good family is very, very profitable. But if you are doing it the right way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mature good is saying how much? It depends on the breed as well. It depends, as I said earlier on, the local breed, it depends from four, five, six, seven, uh -huh. and our Sahel breed, thousand and above, and our our foreign breed, 12,000 and above, 120 million and above. Okay, so in the in annual, I'm, I'm prophecy get for the goat farming. Oh, I, actually, I, I cannot tell you I'm getting this because I do a lot of so I do annually annually income I I, I gather all all the animal and for the go to as I said earlier on I use the money to to use it for other projects and develop the farm so maybe I cannot give you a specific amount but it's very profitable okay the advert for the newcomers want to enter into goat farming? Uh, if you want to enter into goat farming, I would advise you stop planning. Stop planning that, hey, I have to start this, I have to go and get, start, start, stop, stop planning and start. If you start through your process, you will learn more about it. Stop, stop watching a lot of videos, just start, just, yeah, watch some videos too to learn some tips but don't be saying that hey, this guy is doing so this guy have a raised pen a luxurious pen so i need to gather all the money you will not get all the money no through your journey you get the money through your journey so stop planning that i want to get this money no just start it that's my advice to to the beginners if you want to start just start just after watching this video if you have a thousand just go and buy goods or if you have 500, 600, just go and buy goods after watching this video. Just go and buy goods and start. Through your goods, you start learning more. You start learning more. Yeah. Okay, please, let's see this thing. So your sister and the... Uh, I'm STD Farms. STD, STD Farms official on TikTok. That's where I post my daily activities. STD Farms official. And STD, STD Farms on... Facebook, S3 Farms on YouTube, S3 Farms on YouTube is where I educate, teach and motivate the African youth about farming. I teach a lot on YouTube and on Facebook, I post, that's where I write, I teach by, by messages. And on TikTok, S3 Farms official is where I post our daily activities, what we do every day, what we do every day. So... That one, I don't teach, but you just see a video of what we are doing today. Tomorrow, you see a video of what we are doing tomorrow. That's the phone number. Uh, 0541-796-848. That's our phone number. 0541-796-848. Okay, thank you very much. So if you, if you want to start Ghost Family, please follow his page on YouTube and social media, all the social and the... And you will be blessed. And Thank if you are watching this video, please, he did a great work by coming here. You know, he yeah. he's not just close. He took car, he put in much effort. 
for him to get me, yeah, it's a different hustle. You need to be calling to see if I'm free, if I'm not free. He, he put much effort. So please, why not like this video, follow and subscribe to his channel so that he will be much appreciated in what you people are doing and it will motivate him to do more and bring you good content as he's doing right now. Please, please, I'm begging you, subscribe to his channel as well so that he will be motivated and know that what he's doing is not just for doing sick, but he's trying to bring something for you guys to also learn. Okay, see you. See Bye. You.